Hello and welcome to the Wiltshire Caravans and the video for this 2023 Coachman VIP 460. As always with these uh, videos I will be starting round at the back and uh, working our way around the outside of the caravan before going to uh, the inside. So back of the caravan. Right, so it's got the high line brake light and running lights. Grab handles either side, place for your number plate, so you've got your light clusters, so here's for your indicators, brake lights, fog lights, reversing lights, etc. And running lights. And at the bottom you've got the heavy duty corner steadies. Okay, go around to the to the offside. First thing we can come to uh, is the uh, is the ever popular toilet <laughs> toilet area. So At the top part, that's where the uh, the reservoir is for the for the rinse. So you can use the uh, pink fluid that's widely available in caravan outlets, uh, or you can use just water. Just as a precautionary tale, if you use the, the pink uh, fluid, make sure that you do rinse it out thoroughly every now and then, uh, just to prevent any uh, seizing up of the impeller. All right, see if I can open this. Cassette. Standard Thetford cassette. Just literally slides out, it just slides out. So I'm going to take the space away. Can have one next to me as well. So that's the standard cassette. To empty, you'll know when you need to empty it. There's a, a light that comes on in the toilet area. So forward. Take the, uh, the lid off, that cap, put it somewhere safe, you don't want it falling down where uh, you're about to pour this stuff. So then lean forward, push that button, that will release everything over the, uh, <laughs> over the uh, nasty place. So you'll want to rinse out, so that slides back, that opens, and then you can rinse out in there. Make sure you close, slide that back in and then repeat the process. You'll be wanting to use the blue or the green if you're going for the organic um, chemical in the toilet. Uh, to measure that, obviously see what the uh, instructions are on your uh, on the bottle. And the, but these, the, the lid does have markings of how much to put in. Whilst this is out of the way, particularly for winter, but when you need to empty the reservoir every now and then, uh, for, that's it, particularly for winter, just above here, there's a little tube, pull that bung out, as long as you've got a bucket to catch everything in, uh, make sure all the fluid is outside. Then to replace, simply slide in, This lid, uh, lid, this handle uh, is retractable. It comes out so you can uh, wheel it away, so to speak. Okay. Continuing, waste pipes. So you've got two waste outlets uh, for the one for the, the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink, and one for the shower. Uh, that just goes into the waste master or into the area uh, if you have a foot service pitch. Goes straight down to the drain. Wheels on here, alloy wheels, torqued up to 130 newton meters. I'll show you around on the other side where we can see the um, uh, the tire pressures and the torque details on there. Also on these, you've got an, uh, an offside service light, so you can do your water uh, whilst you're just uh, in, in the light, so to speak. So the battery box, not a great surprise. But in here, as if by magic, is the battery. We've got a battery there. This is also where the electric hookup is. Uh, and also behind there, you've got a, uh, an aerial socket. 
you see that, but you do have an aerial socket in there as well. For the eagle-eyed amongst you, you may have noticed this has a motor mover on. Uh, power touch evolution uh, automatic engage motor mover. Uh, there's a separate video for that altogether. Next area where the water pump goes in. And I'm just going to get my demo water pump. I'll show you how that goes on. Okay, so here we are. There's this is where the water goes in, the from your uh, aqua roll. This is uh, the whale system. So that just slides up. The pump itself slides in as so. And that just comes down to clipping to keep that in place. Uh, you'll see there's a little clip there that holds the, uh, the, the uh, pump part of this uh, off the ground when you are refilling your aqua roll. sound of our forklift, oh, apologies. So, also on this side, uh, last but by no means least, if you want, this is the Alde heating system and hot water. So on here, uh, if you uh, are using gas, that's the exhaust port for, for the gas. Um, whilst I am on this side, and whilst the forklift is going past, on the, each of your windows, I don't know if you've ever seen it clearly, but there is, ah, you can. Um, each of the windows will have the Chris number of the, uh, this particular caravan, just as a, just to let you know that the um, uh, Chris number is on all of the windows. Is it? He says. Yeah, it's on this one as well. Sorry about the reflection. Don't want to scare the two of people. Yeah, but it's on all of them, just as a safety precaution. Right, at the front, so three windows. Uh, it's running on the Alco chassis. It's got the ATC. Alco trailer control, which has a so there's a sensor underneath that when the caravan does go out of shape at all, it will dab the brakes on. Uh, it's just a safety feature to um, make sure the caravan stabilizes. The only time you should probably notice is if you go over a speed hump, uh, the caravan will feel heavy for a, a couple of seconds, or heavier, I should say. Right, I'm just going to go into the lockers now, front lockers, just to show you. I've already opened the top ones just for. Uh, unlock them just for ease uh, in here, so you've got quite a bit of space. This is for, I mean, this has got the, the leg winder, the electric cable, the water pump, the Alco lock, standard on the VIPs. Uh, this one's also been fitted with a tracker and a solar panel, so the boxes are in there for that. Um, but it's just a storage area. Uh, likewise, on the other side, uh, it's not a storage area, it's the gas locker. I can uh, open that up. So, room for two six kilo propane or seven kilo butane. It's actually set up for propane. Uh, we do have some information on the caravan in here. So you have a weight plate in here, um, which gives you various bits of information, the maximum plated weight, massive run in order, etc., and the Chris number. I will show you, a bit further along, by the door, it's got similar information there, but it's also got the information regarding tyre pressure, so the tyre pressure on these is 65 psi, so it is quite high, uh, the alloys uh, are 130 newton metres, but if you need to use the spare wheel, uh, which is located underneath, uh, that's a steel wheel, and that's 88 newton metres. Okay. Vents, fridge and freezer. That's just an external locker. Uh, it goes into the uh, underneath the bed box at the front. Also here you've got an electric point, outdoor electric point, and your obligatory gas barbecue point. Uh, please do never use the gas barbecue in the morning. Uh, if you ever think it's okay to do so, uh, give me a call 01373 752 100. Uh, and I'll explain to you why it's not a good idea. Okay, so we've also got the awning lights here, uh, but externally that's about it. And uh, we'll we'll go inside now and have a look around. I'll do a quick walk around first before we do anything a little bit more detailed. Okay, so 
be in the VIP 460. It's got the two long front benches, which can be turned into a double bed, or you can use those two long singles. Look at this. There are the slats. Just to show you that, I'll do a little bit more detail in a while. Just going to have a very quick look around it. Really nicely appointed, nicely laid out. Bathroom at the back. Sorry if you get my reflection. There I am. So these do have a really nice size bathroom. A little shower. Plenty of wardrobe space. That is in hers, so to speak. Small one there. Larger one here. And this is where the glycol uh, reservoir is uh, for the outer heating. That's enough of that. Just a quick walk around. Let's uh, show you how a few things work. Okay, firstly, but, uh, just to let you know, this does have an alarm. It has um, a tilt sensor and a PIR sensor. I will just turn the alarm on now. Two beats means the alarm is on. Takes about 45 seconds to arm. Three beats means the alarm is off. So uh, hopefully it won't go off now while I'm in here. Uh, if it does, you may see uh, or hear the passing uh, on, on camera. Right, so display, main main controls uh, above the door. Uh, so, as you can see the time, master power on, so that powers it on. Uh, these are the settings up and down. The water pump when you've got your Acarol plugged in, this is for internal lights and this is for the awning light told you what you're doing but for settings that's up or down down you go into the settings menu see make that clearer press that was the enter button so you can change the display turn the sound off auto pump off or on notifications probably nothing a great deal in there so you can hide advice low battery low, you know, warnings etc but I wouldn't turn any of those off key on range removed on so it tells you engine there's all sorts in here but then you've got the save and exit so you've got the settings so the internal temperature the leisure voltage well that doesn't surprise me we are plugged in at the moment and then the time you can if you hold and press you can change the time uh, obviously we don't need to that is the right time, so happy days. Okay, like I said, lights on and awning light. The lights themselves turns on some of them, lots of them are individual lights uh, underneath the microwave. We have uh, an LED strip, but if you then continue to hold, it will dim. Likewise, above the sink. light switches all over the place and you've got light switches uh, this one's for the bathroom this one is for above, above next to the door we've got light switches down the side here that's for the uh, mood lighting and the main lighting in the front that one's for the underfloor lighting by the kitchen um, I did mention there's a light for the outside service light. That's in here, so that button there. That's the outside service light. Yeah, they're all over the place. We've got lights here for under counter lighting. Same again on the other side where the fridge is. Yeah, lots and lots of things to play with. And you will no doubt enjoy uh, enjoy as much as I finding out what they do as much as I did. Alright back to the controls as I told you uh, this has got the Alder heating system the Alder 3030 compact heating system now if I can turn this on from here it will come back here Alder compact 3030 right so the first screen is the desired temperature that we want in here very simple to change up or down so if I can thermostat at home very simple to do. Okay. 
Um, currently saying it's 12 and a half degrees in here at the moment, and we want to set it to 21 degrees, so that's the temperature we want. Okay, press menu, and you'll get into the screens menu, so you can go night mode, day mode, pump, delayed start. Uh, you can go through that at your own leisure, um, where you can change everything. You can have a night mode, so you can have certain temperatures at night, etc. Uh, day mode, again, certain temperature during the day. Uh, what I'll do with these uh, videos, uh, I've got a link to the Alde uh, video themselves explanation, which will be far more detailed and clear than I can do. So we'll go revert back to that screen, so click menu again. Menu again, so menu twice, and you'll get to energy, so you get to select what energy source you want to use. You've got electricity, so you've got zero kilowatts, so off, one kilowatt, won't do a lot to start with. Two kilowatt, that's a good temperature. Then that speeds things up quite quickly, but that's about 8.8 .8 amps. So I think, so you're, you're looking around about, if you're only on a 10 amp site, you, you, you've not got a lot left to play with. So that would be as much as I would go on to. If it's unlimited, so to speak, 16 amp, go on to three kilowatts, you'll have no problem. Everything can heat up very, very quickly. But I would suggest two kilowatts is absolutely fine. And once we are at temperature, you can then go back down to one kilowatt. So you've got plenty of uh, space as in on the how much power you've got available. You can also run on gas or with gas as well, so you can do both. Um, why would you want to do that? Uh, if you have electric already, I wouldn't spend uh, the money I've already spent on the gas on the uh, to, unless you really want to heat it up quickly. So it's down to you, I suppose. Menu again. Then you've got hot water. Press hot water, so you've got off, on, that'll give you water, enough hot water 95 to 99% of the time. And then if you do want to boost, you can do so. You've got 30 minutes of boost, whereby all the power from this system, uh, and I mean that's just for the Alder system, not from the whole caravan, but all the power is uh, then into the hot water, so it will turn the heating off for those 30 minutes. Um, so if you don't keep the water on boost, uh, because your heating won't work. Uh, very simple. Now, like I said, I will be sending through a, um, a separate video from Alder themselves uh, to, to show exactly how um, the system works. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Uh, I would generally just set it to a temperature to the water settings that I wanted, and that would be uh, pretty much where I left it. Okay. Right. I mean, any questions, you can feel free to give me a call on 01373 752100 and I'll answer as I can. Okay. So, whilst we've been talking about the water, very, very important thing is draining down, uh, particularly for winter, but for travelling. The new 3030 uh, Alder system has a slightly larger boiler, it can now hold 10 litres of water rather than about 8.5. Uh, so that's more weight in the caravan. Now to drain down, I do need to move these cushions over here on the right hand side. So bear with me, I'll be really short. Okay, so as if by magic, yep, yeah, I've made all the cushions disappear in no time at all. This is the boiler I was telling you about, the Compact 3030. And it now holds 10 litres rather than the old 8.5 that they used to. Okay, now. You can now see two yellow uh, drain down taps. So you've got a drain down tap for the cold water attached to the blue and attached to the red for the hot water. So there are two drain downs you need to remember now. Uh, they're currently turned on, turned on so water can come in. Uh, if I wanted all the water to go out, I would just leave, turn those uh, taps vertical or move them to vertical position. Uh, and all the water would drain out. At that point, open all your taps as well. That means all the water will drain out beautifully. <laughs> Whilst we're under here, uh, every now and then you may need to calibrate your water pump, and that's the area where the calibration is. I'll send another video on that. Uh, isolator. So, we saw the motor mover uh, outside. I know there's a separate video Isolators are normally on the outside. This one uh, is now put on the inside. Again, 
not anything you need to worry about, but it is there. Also, I mentioned that this particular customer has a solar panel fitted, so the solar panel charge panel is there. Also under here, hiding nicely. Yeah, so in here, you've got your breaker switches and your fuses. Uh, some people do carry spare fuses. Uh, personally, I never did. Uh, I was lucky enough not to need one. <laughs> also under this uh, sofa, which I didn't show you, there are um, gas isolators. Uh, if you are running the uh, uh, running a butane bottle, you might want to use the gas isolators. But if you're just running on um, on propane, you can just turn that off at the bottom. Then turn the cooker on for I don't know, half a second to one of the gas burns away just on one of the rings right okay to the kitchen side well no it's not actually we're on the microwave side so microwave there's microwavey things got the, uh, the, the, the plate in there 800 watt microwave I'm not going to teach you how to use a microwave um, under here this is probably the best place for the TV because it's got the TV point there uh, aerial, let's uh, call it a satellite, but there's no satellite on it, just a different aerial connection. And you've got the 12 volt if you've got a 12 volt TV. Two USBs, one's a one amp, one's a 2.1, so one's faster charge than the other. Two 230 volt sockets. Then we've got a cupboard under here. A few bits and bobs. And the fridge. The fridge, Dometic. Back far enough to see this, I'm sure the camera can pick it up. If my eyesight, they probably can't. So power on. Just press the button in. We'll get that sign. And there we are. So we are currently. That's the temperature I'm asking for the uh, fridge to be on, and we're on electric. Press the button. Oh. Press it again. You've got a choice of auto, leisure battery, gas. Or electric. We're going on electric. I would like us to go on to auto. We're on auto, then as soon as we plug the car in, happy days, it will go straight on to there. Okay. Scroll down until you get to that sign, the arrow sign, and then back. Okay. Then temperature wise. Open either side. I do like that. Um, got the freezer box in there for you, plenty of ice, for your gin and tonics, or your Bacardian Cokes, whatever your tipple may be, or even if it's just ice creams. I couldn't possibly not. Um, as I said very briefly before, um, this turns into a, a, be a bed area. You can either use them as two singles or a double bed by pulling out the slats here then rearranging the cupboards. Here's also a nice little table for a cup of tea in the morning, glass of wine at night, entirely up to you how you, um, how you utilize the table. And it's just drawer space underneath. That size drawer. Oh, lots of cupboard space. Don't really need to open cupboards for you. You know what's going into cupboard space. Space. So, radio, SRC gets things going, let's plug it into something just to, oops, there you go, but it's very six radio, turn that off, and then to turn to dim it all down, oh, that one, happy days, kitchen area, okay, so I've told you already about the light here, you've got an extension worktop, um, here, under the worktop, you've got a, a, a pull-out uh, rack, so rack and drawer cupboard, however you want to call it. Three nice size uh, cupboards there. Area for mugs and plates. These are really nice. I do like this. Oh, that's a really nice, a really nice soft close. Uh, again, soft close cupboard here. 
is really nice. Cooker, standard Thetford cooker, so it's got the light in the oven, uh, three gas burners, one electric hob. Uh, the electric hob shouldn't come on when uh, the glass is down. Uh, if you knock it by accident, it should be okay. However, if you want to be particularly cautious, and I do advise this, ah, that's good, that the plug's actually out already. There's a, where the plug, that goes in there, and that's just for the uh, uh, hot plate only. The rest of the oven and uh, separate grill are all gas. Omnivent in this, so open that up. Power on. Says. Power on. <laughs> then find out what I've done wrong. I speak in the workshop in a minute. But anyway, moving on. I'll get that sorted out. Bathroom, as I said, large bathroom. Towel rail that's all connected to the Alder heating, so be careful of that, it does get hot. This is where the light comes on. That, uh, that's your flush. And swiveling seat. Sounds like something out of Harry Potter, the swiveling seat. Uh, however, when you've done what you need to do, push that across to empty, close it back up again, otherwise, you won't be able to get the cassette out and you'll try pulling it too hard. And it, will, um, it can break. So mixer taps, cupboard space underneath. I say lovely shower, um, and a couple of nice sized wardrobes. All in all, a really really lovely van. Um, not really a lot else I can say about it. If you've got any questions or uh, regarding this or any other vans that we might have available, please do give us a call on 01373. 752100. Uh, my name's Andy, uh, and I will be going to have a look at <laughs> get someone to look at that on living. Okay, but I uh, hope you enjoy this. If you do like these videos, please uh, do like and subscribe to our, our um, YouTube page, and uh, I will catch you all again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.